What's up, beautiful people? If you decide to click on this video, this reading could be for you. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. This is going to be a collective reading for everybody and anybody who decides to click on this reading. Remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. We're going to start with these Angel Answers cards that I just recently picked up. You can find that in the vlog I just posted. I just posted a vlog on this channel. Some of you have already seen it. Thank you for watching. Some of you who haven't seen it, go check out the new vlog. I got these Oracle cards in it. They look like this. Gorgeous, stunning. Let's see what you need to hear. We're seeing no need to worry. Your guides want you to know that there's no need to worry right now. You are taken care of or a situation is going to be taken care of for you. And we're seeing forgiveness. Okay. No need to worry. I'm hearing forgive yourself. Or forgive them for yourself. Some of you, I know it can be hard to forgive others, especially if this is like a family member or if this is somebody who really hurt you. But you're being guided to forgive them for yourself because the forgiveness that you give them for yourself will set you free. You don't have to forget about what happened, but you are being guided to forgive them and move on from the situation. Some of you are never going to hear an apology from this person because they don't think that they did anything wrong, because they don't know how to apologize to you. And some of them, they do know that they messed up, they do know that they did something wrong, but they're just still not going to apologize. Their ego or their pride won't let them, so you're being guided to forgive them for yourself, okay? What's the card, no need to worry? We're seeing the Knight of Rods, or the Knight of Wands, and then we're seeing the Hermit in the reverse. I'm hearing no need to worry, you're not going to be alone forever, or no need to worry, you're not going to have to do this alone. Some of you, you may have a trip coming up. You may be flying for the first time, or you may be flying in general, or just going on some sort of trip. And um, Spirit is saying no need to worry. The trip is going to be fine. You're going to get there safely. Everything's going to be okay. Everything always works out for you. That's an affirmation I like to use, and you can use it for yourself too. Everything always works out for me. And so it is. But yeah, if you have some sort of trip coming up that you were worried about, no need to worry. For some of you, you don't need to worry about that Sagittarius or that Virgo. They're doing just fine or they're going to handle it. Okay. Anything else? I feel like you're not going to be alone on this trip. Some of you, you may be doing some sort of solo traveling or you may be moving or relocating and you may be doing this alone, but I feel like you won't be alone for long or you won't be alone forever. So some of you, you may be relocating, you may be worried about this relocation or this move, but I'm hearing it's going to be okay. There's no need for you to worry. And then we're seeing the Ace of Wands. This is going to be a really good move for you or a really good trip for you. Wherever you're moving to or wherever you're traveling, it's very inspiring. With the Ace of Wands, it gives you a lot of new creative ideas. It makes you passionate about life again. There's more to see, more to do, more to explore. It takes you out of your comfort zone I'm getting, but I'm getting that this is a good thing. Maybe that's why you're worried. Maybe that's why you're scared because you're leaving a comfort zone, but it's going to help you to grow. It's going to help you to expand. It's going to help you to learn, okay? And then we're seeing the Seven of Swords. I do see that you're going to be leaving behind some people and they may be upset about this, but I feel like you need to do this for yourself. You need to move or you need to take this trip for yourself or you need to move away from these people for yourself because the Seven of Swords is somebody who's lying, manipulative, they're a thief, deceptive, they sabotage you, they sabotage themselves, they sabotage everything. And I feel like you're moving away from this person or you're moving away from these people to create a better life for yourself. And that's what you're being guided to do and that's what the universe is doing for you as we speak. So no need to worry. Anything else? I want to find out about this move or this travel. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, we're seeing the chariot. Some of you may be crossing water, is what I'm seeing, or you may be moving closer to water. The chariot is cancer energy, and it's giving water energy to me right now. So you may just be moving near the water, or you may be traveling across the water. You may be going by car, or train, or bus. 
the means of transportation doesn't matter, but I am saying that it's going to be a safe trip, that you're going to get there safely. And then we're seeing the Queen of Pentacles. And for some of you, I'm seeing that this is where your business is going to flourish. This is where there's going to be more opportunities for business, for you to make money, for you to become independent, for you to be self-reliant. And I'm getting that there's no need for you to worry about this move or this travel because it is going to bring in some sort of financial freedom is what I'm really getting with the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. It's like you're moving on, you're moving up, you're elevating. And then the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of your gender to me, is really just giving this energy of financial freedom and business opportunities. And I'm getting that wherever you're moving to, you're, you're being called there because that place needs you. Or wherever you're traveling to, you're being called there because that place needs you. 555 five, five on the timer when I said that. You're going to impact change. You're going to bring in change with what you know, with your skills, with your services, with your products. It's going to make a difference. You're meant to be in this position. You're meant to travel or to move to this place because it's going to open up opportunities for you that you don't have currently wherever you are or you didn't have wherever you were before because some of you have already made the move or some of you are already on that trip. And Spirit's saying no need for you to worry. This is going to work out for you. This is going to help to build your business. This is going to help you to network and to create new connections with people and to get your name out there and to get your business out there and your brand out there. And for some of you, you're going to get to be independent. I just keep getting that. You're going to get to work for yourself. You're going to be self-employed or you already are. And Spirit's saying don't worry about that either. We'll take care of you. This new place that you're going to is going to provide all that you need to help you stay self-employed. Because I'm getting that some of you have been thinking like maybe you need to go back to working a regular job. Maybe you need to go back to working for the man, but you don't. Once you've broken free from that matrix, you don't ever have to step back into it. You just have to trust. Trust the divine, trust God, trust the universe, whatever you believe in. Trust that you'll be provided for and you will. Okay. Anything else spirit that you wanna talk about? I'm seeing some of you could be going on tour. Don't worry about the tour either. Some of you may be working with a new agent or a new management or something like that. And you don't need to worry about that either. They've got you, they love you, they have your best interest at heart. Just make sure that you're honest and open with your communication with them. Like if you don't wanna to go to a certain city or you don't really like something that's going on, make sure that you're vocalizing that, okay? For some of you, like you may be the act or the star or the model or whatever, but that doesn't mean that you lose all control or that mean, that doesn't mean that other people get to have control over you now. You're still a human being. You still have thoughts and emotions and things like that. So express them when you need to, but really don't worry because I feel like these people have your best interest at heart. They're really looking out for you. They really love you. They really wanna make sure that this is the best that it can be for you. They want this to be smooth sailing because if it's smooth sailing for you, it's smooth sailing for them too. Everybody wins. And then we're seeing the six of one. For some of you, you're going to break out in this new area. And I mean that in like a, like a star kind of a way with the six of wands. This talks about public recognition. It talks about victory. It talks about winning the war. So the battle is done. The war is done for you. Your personal battle, your personal war is done and you're overcoming it by moving or by going on this trip. I feel like wherever you're moving to or wherever you're traveling to, it just sets you up for success. There's nothing but success there with the Six of Wands. It may be slow growth at first, but slow is better than nothing. And I also got this vision the other day of like two different people building a building and one person's building was super tall, but as you go down the different floors, they have like busted water pipes. They have like walls that are stuck together with tape. You know what I mean? Just this type of energy of like, they didn't really care about the foundation. They didn't really care about all of the floors of the building. They only cared about how high the building could reach. But eventually that building's going to come crumbling down because of all the floors that are going to collapse, right? And then the other person maybe only has like a three floor building as opposed to like an 18 floor building so the person up here on the 18 floor building is like on top of their building looking down on everybody laughing ha 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 but it won't be funny when the building comes down 
because they didn't put any time or energy into actually building and fortifying the building. They only cared about quick success. The other person who I feel like is you and myself, I can relate to this person as well. The other person in the vision maybe only has a three floor building, but every single floor is sturdy, rock solid, great foundation. And it may have taken more time, but that's because this person is putting time and energy and attention into each and every single floor as they build the building. So three floors is still a great accomplishment and it's still a great achievement and there is more to go, there is more to grow on and it won't come crumbling down because there's already a sturdy foundation. So hopefully that metaphor, analogy, vision makes sense to you. It makes sense to me, but I may not be articulating it the best. Anyway, I feel like slow growth is still good growth. Slow progress is still progress. So you're making progress. And this move or this travel, this relocation is going to be very successful for you. And for some of you, you're not going to be self-employed. I know that's not for everybody, but I do feel like you're going to be given a really good position or you're going to put yourself in a really good position financially or for career. I feel like wherever you're at currently or wherever you were at, they just weren't appreciating you. They weren't using your skill set correctly and they aren't valuing you and paying you enough for some of you. So whenever you make this move or whenever you travel and you find this job, you're going to get paid your worth. You're going to get to use your skill set. Some of you I'm getting like a counselor or um, an administrator or a VIP, some sort of like president, vice president, something like that, wherever you're going. Okay. But yeah, you're going to be very successful with the Six of Wands. And then we're seeing the High Priestess. And intuitively, you already know. Intuitively, you already know that everything is fine. Everything is working out for you. But there is still this fear or this worry that maybe you haven't overcome the past yet, that maybe the past is going to follow you into this new chapter of your life and Spirit is saying no. With the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, what's done is done. What you're leaving behind is meant to be left behind and will stay in the past. It's not coming with you. It doesn't have to come with you. It's not allowed to come with you. It's period, point blank period, not coming with you. It's just not coming with you. And intuitively, I think that you know that or you can recognize that now. Now it's time for you to celebrate. Pour up a glass of wine, have a nice little dinner, celebrate, treat yourself to something nice, celebrate. This is going to be the best decision of your life. No need to worry, okay? Hopefully this reading helped you. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and I will see you next time. Bye.